Here's all our ingredients for our open heart. You've got some Super Duos, three sizes of seed beads, and two small fire polish uh, beads. You're going to start by picking up a Super Duo, and then you're going to alternate a Super Duo with seven size 15 beads, and those are the smallest beads that you received. Once you finish uh, alternating with those seven 15s, you are going to alternate with three 11s. Make sure you give your seed beads a count so you make sure you have the proper amount. Now Tony's going to start to alternate her super duos with the size 11 seed beads and you're going to do three of those. Once you put those on, you're going to pick up two super duos in a row, and then you're basically just going to reverse the pattern that you did. So you're going to alternate with three 11s, and then you're going to alternate with seven more size 15s. Now to make your project easier, you'll want to look at all of the holes in your Super Duos. Make sure that each hole is clean so that you don't get partway through your project and find that you have a hole that's not usable in the Super Duos. Depending on the finish, sometimes there is a couple of the holes that get a little blocked up. So just check those out before you start, just to make your job less frustrating for you. And now Tony's getting to the end of a second set of 15s. And she is going to pick up, after her final Super Duo, she's going to pick up a size 15. And then she's going to try to pick up a Fire Polished and then another 15. And then she is going to make a loop with all these beads by going back through the thread trail as described in step two. So as you'll watch Tony do, she's going to enter the super duo near the tail and she's going to follow her thread path all the way back through until you and exit out the second 15 and that is the one that is directly on the opposite side of the fire polish. The uh, step two might be a little confusing when you read it, um, but just know that you're going to go through the fire polish, out the 15, and into the next super duo. Now this takes a little bit of time, so just be patient. Make sure that you don't miss any of the beads on your second pass through. Even Tony's having a little bit of trouble getting those lined up. So just be patient, and it will all come together for you. And sometimes your beads can get a little twisted. So again, just have patience. So as you can see, Tony is going through the grouping of a 15 a fire polish and a 15 and then she's going to go through the next super duo and then she's going to step up and reverse direction so the super duo that you're exiting out of you're going to basically make a u-turn and go through the open hole of that same super duo and then you're going to start to build the outside of your heart now the super duos are already there, so now you're just going to alternate with the seed beads, but you don't have to pick up a super duo this time. So you're going to go around the outside of the heart, and you're going to alternate seven size eight seed beads, and those are the largest ones. Once you finish putting the eights on, you'll be adding three size eleven seed beads, and then that will put us at the bottom T 
tip of the heart. So Tony finished putting on the seven eights, and now she's going to go ahead and put on three size 11 seed beads. And then this puts us right at the bottom of the heart. So now Tony's going to pick up an 11, the other fire polish, and one more 11. And then you're going to go back in to the fire polish and the next 11. And then you're going to continue around the opposite side of your heart going through that first super duo that you see. And now Tony's just going to basically uh, reverse direction of those seed beads. So instead of putting the 8s on, she's going to start with the 11s and three of those and then she'll finish up around the top of the heart with the eights. So basically one side of the heart to the other is a mirror image of themselves. Now kits will be available on our website for this project and they come in the color that Tony is making which is a red luster and a white seed bead. We also have a black and a grayish silver version and then there's a monochromatic purple version and a monochromatic uh, pink sort of a dusty corally rose color. So those four kits uh, colors will be available and they are ten dollars for the kits and it includes all the supplies you need to make two pairs of earrings and we even include the ear wires for you. So Tony is just about to finish up with her eights and once she puts the last eight on we're back at the top. Now Tony's going to step across the gap And she's going to pull that tight to cinch that whole heart right up at the top. And now you want to end uh, the thread. So Tony is just going to go back and step down. And she's going to reverse direction until she gets back to where her tail is. Oh, I'm sorry. First she's going to add a loop to hang with. So she's going to work, she worked her way over uh, three size eights, and now she's picking up nine fifteens, and she's going to stitch back through the eight to create a loop. And that you can use to hang your ear wires from. If you want to, you can go back through and reinforce that loop, or you can proceed to end your thread. Now, Tony's going to work her way back towards the middle of the heart on the upper side, and she's going to end where her tail is, and then she can tie those two in a knot and trim them off really close. So this project should take you about 10 to 15 minutes per heart, but if it's your first time, it might take you a little bit longer. As you can see, sometimes getting that needle through the correct bead can be a little tricky. So as I've said before, patience is the key. So Tony's just about to exit through that grouping of the seed bead and the fire polished, and now she's just going to tie a knot with the tail and her lead thread. 
a couple knots if you want, and then just cut it off with a pair of scissors, or if you use a thread burner, you can just burn the thread. We're going to use our handy dandy cutters. And now Tony has finished. Uh, so she's just going to trim those threads off. And then you can take your heart and hang it on your ear wire. And you've got one of a pair of earrings. Have fun. Enjoy.